guys, Milton here with Highland School Self-Reliance. Wanted to go over a piece of equipment today. It's called the IBNS. Stands for Improved Bed Net System. This is a... Well, you're looking at it, you're like, well, it looks like a pan in a bag. Well, this thing is really cool. Uh, it's I call it a hasty shelter because you can get this thing up quick. Um, this thing is made out of uh, 70 denier, 1.9 ounce ripstop material. Um, it's uh, permethrin uh, treated, so to keep the, the bugs off of you. Um, it's, uh, it's stored size, it's like 13 inches by 13, I think it is. Uh, it weighs less than two pounds, which is key. Uh, now I have the uh, uh, cover for this. There's a tarp in here that you actually have to buy separate. Sometimes you can find it in the package deal where you get the bed, the bed net and the uh, tarp that goes over it. I had to buy them separate, but um, it's uh, with everything. It's about two pounds total. I mean, that's that's light. Uh, it comes with some stakes, and this thing is a CPAI 84 fire retardant, which means um, after exposed to a direct flame for 12 seconds, um, the flame has to go out in less than two seconds. The char length can't be any more than 6.5 inches long if there's char left on it. And uh, so you could put this thing kind of near your fire and if you get a, uh, you know, your, your campfire and if you get a little spark on it, it's not gonna burn it down or burn you up inside of it. So let's open this thing up and see how it's, how it's put together. Comes in this little zip bag. Got some stakes in here. Um, this is for the cover that goes over it. Get to that in a minute. And there it is. Now, when you're doing this thing, there's a strap that goes across it. Take it off. And kind of throw it and get away. And there it is. Um, I'm going to go ahead and set up the tarp that goes over it. Set up the tarp this way so you can see it. See, it's a pretty good size. This is all bungeed together. Just kind of get it the way it should be. And get the tarp out. Once you've got this up, put these little clips into the frame. Holds that up. This tarp is treated on the underside um, with some waterproof waterproofing, and the outside is the rip stop. look at this this is where the ends are it's got a little hole that goes through it and that goes right down here and connects in with the other hole on each side where the frame goes through Time to get it centered. There we go. Okay. 
everything adjusted up here right. And you take your steaks. They're not the best quality steaks, but they work. They're plastic, actually. Put them in. opens up. Actually got a place for stakes on the tent. And a few spots. Just to kind of keep its shape. Help it keep its shape. And unzips. And I'm going to get the camera here and take it in with me and show you how what it looks like underneath. As you can see here, it's got an area in the back there you can kind of store your gear and stuff. Crawl in, show you how much room it has. I am six foot tall and I am not. I'm barely touching the end, and I've got plenty of headroom up here. Plenty of headroom. So, and once you're inside, you zip yourself back in. I'll probably have to use two hands for that. There we are. <laughs> And you're in here. Uh, it didn't close the outside up, but all you got to do is grab, grab that, pull it back, and you're done. This thing is cool. It's really fast to put up. And you can put it up in just a couple minutes. I mean, you saw how quick I did that. So um, It runs, price-wise, about... Hundred and fifteen bucks, something like that. And the cover is, I think, about another forty, maybe. Let me put this back on the, on the stand. There we go. So. It's a pretty cool little system. I do like it. It's very lightweight, easy to put up. It's easy to take back down. Um, and I can do that in just a couple minutes to show you. Um, stakes in one spot. There is kind of a trick to putting it back into the bag which I'll show you. Zip it back up. Fold it over, kind of like one of those foldable trash cans. Fold it like this. Make two pieces, like so. And then you 
Fold it over again. Like that. And then you replace the strap. Back around it. Done. Put it back in the bag. It has a... Uh, The frame around it is made out of a fiber. The frame around it is made out of fiberglass material. So I don't know how long that's going to hold up. A lot of putting it in, putting it out, twisting, and all that. Um, you have to kind of be careful with that. I don't know how long that'll last. I've had this. I've probably used it three or four times, and um, you know it's done fine, but not real. I don't know. I don't want to say impressed, but I have some concerns about about the fiberglass frame that's around it that you have to turn and spin. And I think a lot of use of that would could maybe cause some problems. But um, other than that, I really like it, man. It's fast to get up. If you're out in a rainstorm and or you're out hiking, and a rainstorm comes up, throw that thing up in two minutes, and you're you're out of the weather. So. Go out and try one if you want, and let me know what you think, and let me know what you think of this video, and we'll see you again. Get outdoors, folks.